Whether you've experienced it or not, there is no greater feeling than looking through your binoculars and spotting that 10 fabled great one. What is that? Oh my god! Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 most needed, most wanted great ones in the Hunter Call of the Wild in 2023. Now this is my personal 5 species that I would love to see as a great one sooner than later. What is happening? What What is happening? It's that moment when you look up and you realize that that magnificent, super elusive creature is on your map. Especially if it's at the end of a long grind. Knowing that it has all paid off and what you have been grinding for, that goal has actually come to fruition. There is your great one on your map. What could be better than that? Now, Jaxi, who is the community manager for EW, has told the community, that EW does not like to hide great ones behind a paywall. What that means is they want to put great ones on non-DLC maps before they start releasing them on DLC maps. So these five great ones that I would love to see in the game, I don't know how soon we're actually going to see them, but this is just my wish list, and I would love to know what yours is too, guys. Let me know what your top five list would be four great ones to be added to Call of the Wild. And we are gonna head straight into it. Coming in at number five on our list of top five great ones that we absolutely need added to Call of the Wild is the Cape Buffalo. Now, capes are only found here in Verhonga Savannah. On their own, they are already nice, big, impressive animals, and they are a lot of fun to hunt. Savannah is a very popular map. It always has been. Now, the one drawback to this would be that there is just one map you can hunt them on, unless, of course, we do see another Africa map added to Call of the Wild. That is something that I am hoping for in Africa 2.0 with the big five and either a great one one Cape Buffalo or a Great One Lion or how about both? I know I'm very greedy. <laughs> Cape Buffalo go to nine legendary, so grinding them would be very similar to grinding for the Red Deer Great One. Now, the rare variations for Cape Buffalo include albino and leucistic. There is no melanistic and there is no piebald, but adding a Great One Cape Buffalo with different fur types, just like the Great One Moose, and of course, the insane horns that would come off of a Great One Cape would be something that I would love to see. I would love that. I'm going for a heart shot. Splat! Absolutely sweet! Yes. I can only imagine what the crazy insane horns would look like on a Great One Cape Buffalo. How you doing, my buddy? Oh, yes. Right lung and heart. And that is a pretty nice cape. 136 and 151.35 is diamond. So with a Great One Cape, huge horns, huge horns. Yes. Different furs. And just being able to do a Cape Buffalo grind in Savannah would be definitely very different, but it would be a lot of fun. Now, I know that EW doesn't like to, at this point anyway, lock the Great One behind a paywall. They want them to be on non-DLC maps so that everyone has the opportunity to hunt them without having to spend money. Now, how do you guys feel about that? We currently have four Great Ones in the game. They are all on non-DLC maps. Is this something you guys agree with? Is that what you would like EW to continue with? Or would you like to see them adding Great Ones to DLC maps? I kind of feel like that is what people want now. We're okay with paying for a map to be able to hunt the newest Great One. There are already four Great Ones in the game that can be hunted on non-DLC maps. So if you're looking for any great one, there are still lots of choices. And of course, you can hunt any DLC map in multiplayer for free. So now I know that multiplayer is not the best option for grinding for a great one, but I do feel like EW is very reasonable when it comes to prices for all their DLCs. And I personally am totally okay with them adding great ones to DLC maps. Number four on our list of top five great ones we absolutely need added to Call of the Wild is the lion. Two mythicals? What? Well, that is pretty sweet. So lions are definitely one of the most popular animals to hunt in Call of the Wild. They can only be found here in Savannah. And generally speaking, I prefer to have antlered species added as great ones. But lions, I could definitely make an exception to that. With different fur types, 
just like the Great One Black Bear, a Great One Lion would be an absolutely sweet addition to Call of the Wild. Now, one of the most popular rares in the game is the Albino Lion. Now, they are, generally speaking, a tough thing to spawn, but they are absolutely stunning. I actually just got my very first male Albino Lion just a couple weeks ago, and I was super lucky. I got him in 225 kills. Let's take a mythical down. A scope would be very helpful. 237 meters, and mythical lion is gonna meet his maker. Now, lions have a very unique drinking animation. They like to stand and go up and down, so you have to be careful when you take your shot, because they could quickly go up or down just as you shoot, and that is definitely gonna cause you to miss your shot. So as soon as he got up there, I took my shot. We definitely got him. Let's get the other mythical before- Oh, he's alert. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, that sounded like I need to reload, but we got him. He's down to 50. But as I was saying, the Great One Black Bear with its six different fur types is the first Great One without antlers to be added to Call of the Wild. Now, lions would definitely follow that same pattern. There are no antlers on lions, obviously. Just think of the crazy rares that would come out of that grind. The rares for lions include dark brown, blonde, and albino, and dev- Oh, you're gonna float. Oh my gosh. Not annoying at all. Who's- who's yicking at me? Oh my gosh. See the excitement that lions bring to the game? They are definitely the king of the jungle. And one touch from a lion and you are dead. There is no coming back from that. No need to carry a health pack because you are not going to have the opportunity to use it. Now the spawn rate for an albino lion, I believe, is about 1 in 2,000 kills. 46.97 very sweet. But you actually could end up with a great one faster than an albino lion. But guys, definitely let me know in the comments what your top five list would be for new great ones that we need in Call of the Wild. What five species would you like to see first? I would like to see every species in the game added as a great one. I don't know if that will actually ever happen because there are a lot of species in this game and with two coming out every year, it is going to take a pretty crazy amount of time to end up with every species with a great one in the game, so. Lessie W would like to start adding more great ones every year, which I would be totally okay with. <laughs> Okay, we get him. But I personally would absolutely love to see a Great One Lion added to Call of the Wild. Coming in at number three on our list of top five Great Ones we absolutely need in Call of the Wild is the Rocky Mountain Elk. Now, Rocky Mountain Elk can only be hunted in Silver Ridge Peaks, so that is a DLC map. This is the only map in the game that has Rocky Mountain Elk. We do have Roosevelt Elk in Leighton Lakes. Now, we have never seen Call of the Wild come out with two great ones at the same time, but wouldn't it be sweet to see them add Rocky Mountain Elk and Roosevelt Elk at the same time? They would be two completely different great one species, but I think that would just be absolutely amazing. Now, Rocky Mountain Elk already look impressive. Without great ones in the game, they have have crazy amazing antlers. A diamond Rocky Mountain Elk will absolutely take your breath away. So the antlers on a great one Rocky Mountain Elk would be just completely awe-inspiring. It would absolutely be crazy. Probably be one of the most popular great ones in the game. Now, I would love to see different fur types, just like the great one moose. That paired with their insane antlers would just make this one of the most popular great ones that has come to call the wild. Now, what would you like to see better, guys? Would you like to see a Roosevelt elk great one more or a Rocky Mountain elk more? I think for me, it would be Rocky Mountain elk just because of their very impressive antlers. Now, I don't know if they are considering this, but Silver Ridge Peaks has been updated and Rocky Mountain Elk no longer drink from 30 to 90 minutes. They have a four hour drink time now, so grinding them on this map will be so much easier than it used to be. How you doing, my buddy? Beautiful! We got them. I mean, anytime you do a grind, you're gonna end up with a bunch of rares in your lodge. I find the albino Rocky Mountain Elk a very tough rare to spawn. I don't actually have one yet, 
but when I think about doing a great one grind, I think about what my lodge looks like for my red deer. This is it right here. And basically, unless I get very, very lucky and get my great one very quickly, which doesn't happen that often, has been happening to me lately, but I don't expect for my RNG to stay this crazy. Usually we do end up with a bunch of diamonds and rares before that great one comes along and getting any of the very difficult rares for Rocky Mountain Elk would just be a bonus. They get so much bigger than this. This is actually a pretty small gold. Yeah, he just makes gold by two points. But I definitely cannot wait to see Rocky Mountain Elk as a great one in Call of the Wild. Coming in at number two on our list of top five most wanted great ones in Call of the Wild is the Mule Deer. Now, I think the only reason we actually don't have a Mule Deer great one in the game as of yet is because Mule Deer are only found on DLC maps. Mule Deer are definitely one of the most popular things to hunt in Call of the Wild. They have absolutely beautiful antlers and I could only imagine the insane racks on a Mule Deer Great One. Now, I have heard it suggested that maybe they could add Mule Deer Great Ones with the velvet shedding from its antlers. Wouldn't that be amazing? Here's a photo of what that might look like. That's actually in real life, but that would be super cool to feature on a Great One Mule Deer. Now, Mule Deer can be hunted in Parque Fernando, Silver Ridge Peaks, and in Rancho Del Arroyo. Now, I think Rancho is one of the best maps for hunting Mule Deer. Silver Ridge Peaks is a lot better than it used to be because they did extend their drink time a couple updates ago so that they now drink for four hours as opposed to 30 to 90 minutes which was kind of insane. So they're definitely a lot more grindable in Silver Ridge Peaks now. But yes, please, EW, could we please have a Mule Deer Great One? I would absolutely love that. Just look at this Diamond Muley. That's just a diamond. Diamonds are tiny compared to Great Ones, basically. But I am hoping that we see a Great One Mule Deer in the game very, very soon. Coming in at number one on our list of top five most needed great ones in Call of the Wild is the Fallow Deer. Now, I am really, really hoping that we see Fallow as the next great one. It checks all the boxes. Fallow are in Hirschfelden, which is a non-DLC map. And I know a lot of people are thinking that Eurobison may be the next great one because we did have a new multi-mount introduced with Eurobison. And looking at the past, that is what they did before new great ones were added for other species. But that's not for sure, and I'm still hoping it is going to be fallow deer. I mean, fallow deer are absolutely stunning creatures. Look at this diamond fallow. Look at the antlers on it. They are just so gorgeous, and just imagine those antlers, but way bigger, way more impressive, and maybe even different fur types on a great one fallow. I would just be happy with different variations of that crazy rack, but having different fur types on on a great one fallow would be sweet as well. Now they would be able to be hunted in Hirschfelden as well as in Te Awaroa. Definitely my map for that grind will be Te Awaroa as there are way more fallow. It is way less thick of a map. It's really not easy to hunt in Hirschfelden. There are just so many drink zones for fallow and nice big herds in New Zealand that I think most people would be doing their fallow grind on that map. So the next map to come out will come out in June of this year and we will probably get a great one species added at the same time that seems to be what has been happening for the last few releases and that is what i am expecting and i am hoping it is going to be fallow deer so we have about six weeks to wait until we find out click right here to learn how to put a great one in your lodge and thanks for watching guys we will definitely see you in the next one